Hey guys, so this is going to be the final type of first order differential equation that we are going to go over. And that is called the Bernoulli equation. And the Bernoulli's equation is of this form right here. It looks pretty similar to the, uh, the very first form that we considered, except for it has this term right here attached to um, the right hand side of the equation. And this is a nonlinear term because we have y to the nth power. So it makes this whole entire differential equation nonlinear. In the case that we have an equation of this form right here, this general form, and if we run out of our options of what we can use to solve this, we can always consider a change of variables associated with this kind of Bernoulli's equation. Uh, we'll define a new variable v to be y to the one minus n power. And what this change of variable does is once we reparameterize this this uh, differential equation, it's going to turn this nonlinear differential equation into a linear differential equation. So this change of variables is a way to linearize uh, this equation. And it basically just turns it into the form uh, v prime plus a of x v is equal to b of x. And we know exactly how to solve this. We can either separate it if it's separable or use an integrating factor. OK, so let's take a look at this example right here. Uh, and we see that this does fit this Bernoulli's equation form um, because it has this non this nonlinear part of it, this y squared term attached to it. So we're going to go ahead and use this change of variables. Uh, here, n is equal to 2 because we it, because y is raised to the second power. So we're going to let v equal y to the 1 minus 2, which is equal to y to the negative 1 power. And now let's find an expression for v prime. So v prime, which is really just dv dt. So let's go ahead and differentiate our v with respect to t, or uh, d dt of y to the negative 1. And since y is a function of t, we have to use the chain rule. And what we get is negative 1 y to the negative 2 power. And then the chain rule, we get a dy dt. So we have that v prime is equal to negative y to the negative 2 power times dy dt. And we can solve for dy dt because that's how we're going to reparameterize this. So dy dt is just equal to negative v prime um, y squared. And if we come back up here, we have v is equal to y to the negative 1 power. And we can solve for y. And what we get is y is equal to 1 over v. So we have these two equations right here. And we're going to use these change of variables in order to reparameterize this uh, differential equation into a linear differential equation. So let's go ahead and substitute in this change of variables into our differential equation. Uh, so y prime, which is dy dt, that's equal to negative v prime times y squared, and then plus 4 over x times y, which is 1 over v. And this is going to equal x cubed times 1 over v squared, or y squared. And let's substitute in for this y again. So we get negative v prime times 1 over v squared plus 4 over x times 1 over v. And this is equal to x cubed times 1 over v squared. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to put this into standard form and get this uh, v prime to have only a one as a coefficient. I'm gonna do that by multiplying through the whole entire equation by negative v squared. So when I do that, that clears the coefficient on the v prime and then minus four over x times v. And this is going to equal negative x cubed. So this is going to be the linear difference equation that we're going to be solving. And we can see that it is of the form v prime plus a of x v is equal to v of x. And we know exactly how to solve that. Uh, we can either use it by separating the variables, but it doesn't look like we can do that here. So instead, we're going to use an integrating factor uh, that we derived a several videos back, which was, if you recall, mu of x is equal to e to the integral of this function right here in front of our v, which is going to be negative 4 over x dx. So let's just evaluate this integral and uh, that'll be our integrating factor, and then we can use that to solve this uh, first order linear differential equation. So when we compute this integral, we get mu of x is equal to e to the negative 4 natural log 
of x. We can move this negative 4 to an exponent of the natural log of x by properties of logarithms. And then we can cancel out e and natural log. So what we end up with is mu of x is equal to x to the negative fourth power. So this is our integrating factor. Let's go ahead and multiply through this different equation by our integrating factor. So what we get is uh, 1 over x to the fourth v prime minus 4 over x to the fifth v. And this is all equal to negative 1 over x. So let's go ahead and integrate both sides with respect to x. The left-hand side just comes out to be our integrating factor times our function v. And this right-hand side just comes out to be negative natural log of x. And we can't forget our constant of integration. So from here, all we have to do is solve for v by dividing both sides by x to the negative fourth, or multiplying by x to the fourth power. Uh, so whenever we do that, we get v is equal to negative x to the fourth times natural log of x and then plus c x to the fourth. So this represents the solution in terms of our function v, but we need to convert using our change of variables back to y's. So we know that v is equal to y to the negative one power. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace v and set this equal to one over y. And now I can just solve for y. I can multiply the y over to this side and divide everything on this side underneath the one. So what I get is y is equal to one over negative x to the fourth natural log of x and then plus c x to the fourth. So this is our answer to the differential equation. And we did so by using this change of variables for this form of a differential equation. And we were able to turn this nonlinear equation into a linear equation and then solve that with methods that we've already learned. And then we just convert back using our change of variables again. So that is Bernoulli's equation. And I think it's called Bernoulli's equation because um, I think this difference equation shows up in uh, fluid dynamics. So if you guys are familiar with fluid dynamics, you've probably seen something that, uh, that looks like this form right here. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.